Hi, I'm Paula Renova, and today we're going to talk about one of the reasons why talent is not enough. But before we dive into this topic, make sure you like this video, that you subscribe to our channel, that you share this content with people you love and will benefit from it, and that are interested in these topics. And also comment your experience below so that we know how you're feeling and so we can share our thoughts and our experiences and create this beautiful flow with more and more people, the more we connect, right? So when we talk about talent, diving into the topic of this video, human beings are born with talents, but it doesn't mean that these talents are going to be developed. What do I mean by this? You may have a talent that you feel like you want to develop, but sometimes we have talents that we don't want to dive into, that we don't want to develop. It's called the calling. So people have different potentials in specific areas. But if a person has a lot of talent in an area, let's say singing, but that person doesn't have the calling, and someone does not have, was not born with an amazing singing voice, but the person has the calling to develop singing. Who do you think is gonna make a bigger difference in the world? Who do you think is going to share more with the world? So why is talent not enough? One of the reasons, there are many, but one of the reasons, which is what we wanna dive into this in this video. You need to add the calling to your talent and it's not something you choose or control so a calling to develop your talent is something that gives you motivation and dedication so the calling in practical terms shows you how much you're willing to dedicate yourself to in terms of time in terms of energy right so let me give you an example. I talked about singing. Um, I came from a family of musicians on both sides. And I have been told that I had a talent for singing. But when it came to dedicating myself to singing, and you really have to take this very seriously. This is very precise. It's very technical. It requires hours and hours of dedication. I did not feel the calling to develop a singing voice. So what are you inclined to spend hours and hours and hours doing and wanting more and craving for more? Ask yourself this question. Because at the time when I was flirting with singing, I was also flirting with illustration. I love drawing, right? But if I were to make it a profession, it would require hours and hours of technical training. And I wanted drawing to be a hobby for me. I was not willing to spend hours and hours and hours practicing and sharpening my skills with illustration. So when I was flirting with singing and drawing, very quickly I understood that I was not willing to dedicate myself to that. I did not have the calling. What did I want to do at the time? I wanted to spend hours and hours and hours studying human nature. That was my passion. We, we see our passion in our calling, in the dedication of time and energy, in the motivation to keep wanting more. So that's great discernment, right? For us to, to really see what we're willing to do. So when I started learning about energy healing, I was so fascinated by it that all I wanted to do was practice energy healing. I had dozens of volunteers in the very beginning to sharpen my skills, to get familiar with the protocols. That's all I wanted to do. That was a calling, right? So even if you're not that, if you believe you don't have the talent, if you have the calling, you probably have the talent. Think about this, okay? but you may be born with amazing talents that you're not really willing to develop, that you may not have the calling. So start thinking about these questions as you listen to this in this video. 
And what I want to say here is that talent is not enough because it requires a calling and a calling pulls you into the direction, towards the direction of developing something. So a calling gives you motivation to get the proper training. That's what I believe creates synergy, creates enough variables in your equation, right? To create something significant in the world. So when talent is aligned with proper training, that's what I, what I want to share with you. Something amazing happens. And there's so much to say about this topic, but if you really want to think about sharpening your skills into something that's your passion, observe if you're willing to do this as a hobby or if you're really willing to do this as something that makes your heart sing and that's the calling okay and don't compare yourself to other people that's another thing that's very important to say when it comes to talent and the calling right to get the proper training so as of now we're looking at talent as the starting point then the next step is the calling the next step is to get the proper training to sharpen your skills and to bring something amazing to the world. There are other things that we can mention in another video, but I just want to say that if you're willing to do this out of leisure, like my singing and my drawing, that is probably a hobby for you. But if there's something deeper in your soul calling you in the direction of sharpening your skills in whatever area you're in or maybe you feel like the area you're in is not really what you want and you want to change careers or maybe it was for a while and then you change like me right I was an academic passionately living the academic life for over 15 years but I was also born with healing and psychic talents and I wanted to develop that at a point in my life and I decided to shift and the reason why I shifted was the calling was the passion in my heart so I'm just inviting you to look within and feel in your heart your talents your calling how much you're willing to develop the skills and dedicate yourself with the proper training so that you start getting more clarity in your inner world about all of this, about talent, about the calling, and about the proper training. So all that being said, comment your experience below this video. Let's hear what you have to say. See how it resonates with you. In whatever professional area you are, whatever your passions are, whatever your talent is, let us know in the comments below so that we can, again, strengthen our community and I will see you soon in the next video.